Hi everybody, and it's Daniel with your news cartridge for Friday, August 7th, 2015. And our first story is a little bit of a doozy, so strap in. A game that came out back in May, actually it came out on my birthday, but that's just a happy little coincidence, called Journey of the Light is now under some controversy. A user posted a week ago an, uh, uh, an Imager album containing some documents suggesting that there's something weird going on with it. The game advertises seven levels. There's also a bonus level, spoiler alert. But upon closer examination, four of the files that contain the data for the levels are all the exact same size to the byte. That's a little, that's, that's pretty weird. Uh, they had the exact same created day and time as well and were modified within about 11 seconds of each other. Now, I would think that if you have two different files for level data, they would be different sizes. Even if they were close to the same size, they wouldn't be the exact same size. The probability that two files are going to be the same size when they're that big is astronomical, much less four f files are going to be the exact same size. That is near impossible to happen. So apparently the game contains only one level and that level also has a puzzle on it which is unsolvable. It's suspected that the dev did this in order to run out the clock on the Steam refund policy. They have a two hour limit. So if the puzzle takes longer than two hours to, to solve, the logic is you can't get your money back. I can't think of a better way to, 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 to run out the clock than to make something that uh, people can't solve, frustrate your customers uh, in, into accepting that they, have to, that they have to eat this money. I really can't think of anything better than that. So Valve has responded by saying that no matter how long you have played this game, you will be entitled to a refund. The dev has unfortunately responded to this in a weird manner. He has stated on... Steam, as well as on Twitter, that it seems that it doesn't matter what I say. He has also stated that the rollback uh, that ro rolled back the game and will be testing the levels. He says, I made a mistake with the builds and that I'm truly sorry about that. Nothing more that ca I can do about this. He also defends himself by saying that I am not a scammer. All I wanted was to create a new kind of gaming experience for you all. Well, this seems sort of like the same thing that happened to Tembo, the badass elephant, about a week and a half ago. They accidentally uploaded a, or the, their, the, the, the developers accidentally uploaded a, an old demo build to Steam, and when the game was released, that's the version everybody got. Well, what they did is they compiled the right build, uploaded it to Steam, and it was taken care of the next day. And even, you know, if you go check out the, the Steam uh, page for Tembo the Badass Elephant, the user reports have even changed completely. I think it's got an 85, 84% uh, approval rating, which is just pretty good. If he did something horribly wrong when he updated Journey of the Light, as he put it on Twitter, then just recompile it. Just put up the correct build. You know, people will forgive you. They forgave Tembo the Badass Elephant, but because this has been up for a month, or a couple of months actually, I, I don't think that this is really the case. The game has been taken down off of Steam. It is not available for purchase at this time. The new World of Warcraft expansion has been unveiled, and it will be called Legion. The Burning Legion is back in what I'm calling the sequel expansion to the Burning Crusade. Features will include that the new continent will be called the Forgotten or the Broken Isles, pardon me. The level cap raised to 110. There will be all new dungeons and raids, you know, the same usual thing to come with uh, WoW expansions. But the new new stuff was that there will be a completely new class called the Demon Demon Hunter. There will also be class specific order halls and followers which sounds pretty cool they will be revamping the pvp progression system as well as adding a whole new honor system this game looks pretty good or this expansion looks pretty good but it seems to be fairly standard in terms of wow expansions so hopefully this will be able to get their subscriber count up to or up higher than its lowest that it's ever been 
Bethesda has stated that once you complete the story mode for Fallout 4, the game doesn't end there. You're still able to go on, do more side quests, as well as level up. More on that in a little bit. Most RPGs have the system that once you're up to the final boss, there's generally a save point right before that boss, and you are left in this sort of limbo where everything else in the game is done except for the final fight. With this, that will not be the case at all. The story will go on if you have any side quests or anything else that you want to do. Uh, not only that, but, like I mentioned earlier, you will still be able to level up. Bethesda has said that there will not be a level cap for the game, so you can continue on and play and play and play. I personally think this is a good thing because I tend to have a, pro a hard time playing it through an RPG a second time unless it's been a couple years since I played it. So this will allow people like me to play through the whole game one time and experience everything that the game has to offer. So sounds awesome. I can't wait for Fallout 4. With Gamescom underway, gaming news is not hard to find at all. But however, when something special pops up, you, you know it. Behold! the half-moon controllers that are going to be used with the Oculus Rift. They will both feature an analog stick, two buttons, and a trigger, and various other sensors for spatial awareness. It seems that the left hand has the XY button, and a, the right hand has an AB button. I am completely blown away by the way these things look. They look freaking gorgeous. So now I have a problem. I want the HTC Vive, but I want these controllers. Can I, can I do that? Please? Can we have some some ability to mix and match? Please let them just be USB because they will be able to mix and match, but we I really don't know. I guess we won't know until later this year and early next year when VR is in our homes. And that is all of your gaming news for today. There are no game releases for tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff, and I will see you tomorrow. But before we go, have you guys heard about this new band? This new band called 123 Megabyte? I don't blame you if you did because they don't have a gig yet.